Compression. The compression works in a very similar way to the auto gate, in that it's got the threshold setting, the attack settings, the release settings, and additionally it's got the, the ratio settings. So let's give it a go. Basically it means that um, the compression will start to work as soon as the signal goes past minus 20 dB, as soon as the signal is louder than minus 20 dB. Now the signal is never ever louder than minus um, 0.5 dB, which means the compression never works, and you get a completely linear, um, linear um, sort of ratio between original signal and compressed signal. Now let's increase or let's lower the threshold a bit, so we start to get some signal going past the threshold. Minus 20 dB. Let's stick with that one for now. And as you can see, we've got um a 4, 5 or 6 dB gain reduction happening here. Now whenever the signal goes past the minus 20 dB threshold it means that um, it means that the ratio then then um, kicks in and in this case we've got a ratio of 2 to 1 which means that for example if the signal was to reach minus 10 dB which is 10 dB higher or louder than minus 20 dB the resulting signal would be only half of minus 20 of minus 10 dB, or half the difference between minus 20 and 10, which is 5 dB, i.e. 5 dB louder than minus 20 dB, which is minus 15 dB. Okay, let me say this again. The signal goes past minus 20 dB, and let's say the sig signal is 10 dB louder than minus 20 dB, which means it goes up to minus. 10 dB originally. Now because of the ratio here, everything that goes past minus 20 dB is being halved, which means that we'll only have 5 dB going past minus 20 dB, so the resulting signal is only minus 15 dB. And obviously if the setting was minus, um, sorry, 3 to 1, then um, you could just double click in here, type in 3, 3 to 1, then um, whatever goes past minus 20 dB would be only a third of what it was originally. This would be a very, very strong setting of 8 to 1. Um, the next thing is that the, um, that the um, gain reduction doesn't kick in straight away. It takes a little while for the gain reduction to reach its fullest extent, which means that there is some sort of... Um, um, button here to control how long it takes for the gain reduction to kick in completely. And this one is the attack button that takes care of that one. At the moment it takes 10 milliseconds for the gain reduction to kick in completely, but if we take this one down to 0 0.1 milliseconds, you can hear that the, um, that the signal has become quieter, a lot quieter. And now if we, if we make the compression lazier, means that it takes 74 milliseconds for the gain reduction to actually reach its full full peak and um, because the bass drum signal is a lot faster than 74 milliseconds it passes by without actually being compressed. And you can see here these lights they don't stay on for as long now compared to this one. Now there's lots of, game, lots of um, gain compression going on and now not as much anymore. Let's turn the release down to a, a low setting, which means that as soon as the um, signal goes below the threshold again, the gain reduction will gradually stop, and this is um, determined by the release time. So if you have a high release time, it means that the gain reduction is always working, more or less always working, it's, it's, it'll stay on for a second. And even now with a with a slow attack time, um, eventually the um, signal will reach the minus 20 dB. Eventually, the gain will kick in, and then it takes another um, 900 milliseconds for the gain to stop. But 900 milliseconds isn't long enough until the next bass drum kicks in. So we'll always have a bit of gain reduction going on here. See with the release time, you can see whether see the bass drum movement going on here as well. Now we've got movement which means the release is set okay. And 
now the release is very very fast and the lights go off in a in a very very quick movement okay now how are you supposed to set the compression now what happens is with all the gain com with all the um, gain reduction it means that um, let's do this again let's go for a fairly fast attack Threshold. Now you can hear the bass drum has become a lot quieter. You can see the levels here. Minus 19, which means now we can increase the gain. We can use the makeup gain here to increase the levels to where they were before. Now the ratio might be quite strong. Obviously, with once the makeup gain is set, if you if you change things here, it'll easily start to clip. Then, so I'll take the makeup gain down again. Let's type in 0.3. The signal is fairly low already, so we need a lowish threshold anyway. Let's stick with that one. And now what's happening is, the attack time is a little bit slower than it was before. It means that the initial, initial hit of the bass drum just goes through without being affected by the compression. And the remaining sort of whoomph of the bass drum is now heavily compressed. And you can get like a, like a whip kind of effect. Now we can increase the makeup gain. Make sure we don't, it doesn't peak. It goes right to zero. And if we compare this with the bass drum that isn't compressed, Hear the difference. This one hasn't got as much bass. This one is very bassy, and this one has got more attack and, and less bass. I mean, this is already pretty, pretty powerful. We could increase the ratio, for example, and um, reduce the attack time. means that the whole bass drum is compressed now. Lower the release time. There's a movement here. We can hear a little bit of a, of a buzz there. And now we can increase the makeup gain even more. Now we get a full compressed bass drum sound. Still got a bit of room left here. We could increase the volume here as well. Okay. I'm going to take this one down to zero again. This is the original bass drum. And this is the compressed one. Now the compressed bass drum has got more, more push behind it. It's like a a fuller, bigger, bigger thing. Got more poundage. Can you hear this? I'm gonna go back to the original one again. This one goes. Mm, mm, mm. Where's the compressed one? Hits you a lot harder now. Obviously you can compare use the bypass here. Now the gate's bypassed, the compression is bypassed. Okay, everything's back on again. Um, the limiter is just a basic limiter. It means that the signal never ever goes beyond whatever you set down here. 
Now in theory, it should never ever go beyond minus 4.5 dB. So I'm going to um, make sure the limiting kicks in. I've lowered the ratio, which means the compression isn't quite as strong anymore. And you can see the limiting here, and this one goes to minus 5 dB. If I take this one down to minus 6, it goes to minus 6. If I take this one up to minus 3, it goes to minus 3 eventually there. But it's not limiting all the time anymore now. If I take this one down to minus 10, minus 10. Bit of distortion coming because the because the levels have to change so rapidly. Okay, and here's like a soft clip function, which works in a similar way to the limiter, but it's not quite as um, quite as cut off. It's got the um, the green area and the distorted area, and um, it's meant to give you a warmer sound, which it does. It's like a different kind of compression, very fast, it's a very fast limiting kind of compression. But as you can see here, it doesn't really clip, it still stays within the um, areas of, um, of non-distortion basically. If we bypass this all, that's the original bass drum, and this is our new bass drum with the soft clip and the um, compression kicked in and the makeup gain and everything. You could reduce the attack time slightly. Now we get a bit of the um, initial hit of the bass drum come through. And now you can hear it, it's like dum, dum, it's lots, lots of D's and T's at the beginning of the bass drum. Compared to the original, the new one, new one is very very powerful now isn't it okay and that's the um that's the dynamic section you've got a dynamic section for every different channel like if i go for the snare drum channel now i unsolo it here as well unmute it see the um, snare drum has got its own dynamic section as well And without boring you to death, I'll quickly set something up here. So this is the original snare drum. Fairly straightforward, a typical electric snare drum. Now this has got lots more oomph behind it, hasn't it? Got a fairly short gate. Gate closes straight away to keep it nice and smooth and short. And um, and the attack lets through the um, initial sound of the, of the snare drum, but it's um, heavily compressed with a eight to one ratio. The um, compression kicks it at a fairly low threshold, minus sixty dB, which is um, very low for um, for a compression to to start from. And I've got a lots of makeup gain here, and the soft clip switched on as well. If I bypass this again, and um, and then add the bass drum to it, that's pretty powerful stuff, isn't it? 